If you've got weeds in your garden, who are you going to call? No, not Ghostbusters. You need me. Well, not me. You need Milwaukee. I'm like, so this here is the Milwaukee switch tank. It's not just a standard knapsack sprayer or a battery powered knapsack sprayer. There's plenty of them on the market. This is something else a little bit special. The main reason being is you can have different tanks for different purposes. Yes, you could have one for water, for watering your plants or in your greenhouse. You have another one for your weed killer to be able to kill your weeds on your path. You have another one for your valeting your car full of your spray foam or your TFR or whatever it might be. And then you can have another one for just killing your broadleaf weeds or something like that. You might have got loads of other stuff you might use it for. It's great that you can stop the cross-contamination between chemicals by using this pretty cool gadget. Right, let's have a look at the specifications and take it from there. So spec-wise, let's start with the battery. Yes, if you were to buy this as a kit with charger and battery, it would come with a 4 amp power. Why only a four amp hour, you say? Surely you need something bigger. Well, the four amp hour will run this unit for 80 minutes of use. And I'll be honest, when you're knapsack spraying or watering, whatever you might be doing with this cool, amazing bit of kit, 80 minutes is probably gonna be long enough because by that point, you're probably gonna want a nice cup of tea. And we all like a nice cup of tea, don't we? So, battery in here. On the side here, you've got this little case and cover. You can clip that open like so, open it up. Yes, it's waterproof. Makes sense because obviously it involves water in this product. And then your battery can go in and clip in there. But there is plenty of room there if you want to put a bigger battery in. But obviously the smaller the battery, the lighter it's going to be. Because when one of these is full of water, the same as any other knapsack sprayer, it's going to be quite heavy. So four amp hour, perfect. Two amp hour, even if you've got one of them, perfect. Three amp hour, high output, even better. There we go, so that'd be great. So that's where the battery goes inside there, nice and easy. Pop that out of the way. Close the cover. Oh, I love that. Yeah, on a sandwich box or in a lunch box, just like that, because it just all closes perfectly, you know what I mean? Anyway, on the other side of this said beautiful piece of equipment, you have got a on and off switch. When you press that, it goes and a nice little hum. Beautiful. Just sends you into a complete trance of a daydream. Beautiful. And then it's got a dial here. This dial has got five settings. So you can turn that around like so, so that you're able to set how much pressure you want to come out of this. It's got up to 120 PSI's worth of pressure in this unit. I'm not sure how to quantify that with regards to this, because if you think of a car tire, it's like 30, 35 PSI. 120, that sounds quite a lot. It sounds like I'm gonna blow some seals, but that's what it says on the box. But anyway, we'll see what it is like in a minute when we plug it in and spray some stuff. How it works, let's have this tank here, the water tank, the blue one for water, green one for chemical. Hopefully that's quite obvious. Tank comes on here and goes up onto there. You've got two little hooks on the back. So hook of your crook in the back there, push down, clips it in nicely. And then you've got a latch on the front, pull the latch up around here, just like so, and clip it in to switch the tank. <laughs> I wonder where they got that name from. You can then clip that up there, lift it off and pop that in. Like so. And now you've got your chemical tank on. Oh, well that was easy, wasn't it? So unclip that and clip it off and put it back on. But you're saying, James, but you didn't wash your sprayer. Well, this is just the motor and the battery holder. In there, you've got your pump is in the bottom of each tank. Yep, so you pump now, you can spin it around. All removable as well. It's not like it's molded into the plastic, which I really, really like. You can just spin that around like that. And that is what creates the pumping noise. So theoretically, this shouldn't get wet. Obviously, with water and residue, if you get drips down in the sides and bits and pieces, they've actually designed the tray. So if there is any leakages or weeps, then you've got this little gutter, we'll call it a gutter, around the outside of the base to let any water go back behind here, trickle down over there and not down your back. We've all been knapsack spraying before where we've got a wet back. I hope we're not gonna get wet back later on when we test it. But your water sprayer, a little bit different than, you know, I, I said just now, it's for you know, watering your plants and things. But what it's mainly designed for is so that you can use it on site work. So you can actually undo this and clip that onto your disc cutter. So your still disc cutter, probably the most popular one in the world, or your Makita. <coughs> <coughs> no, I can't say it disc cutter, or even other brands that are on the market. The main thing it's designed for is for obviously the MX disc cutter. Yes, 
little clip here in the background. We were, a few weeks ago, had the opportunity to try it out and we used this very switch tank on it, powering it, plenty of water flow through to the disc cutter to be able to cut through that tarmac. That absolutely brilliant, very nice, keeps the dust down, bob on, like it a lot. That's great, really, really good. So let's say you're in the car valeting world, or perhaps you just use a lot of sort of soapy chemical for washing machines off. You can actually take these harness straps and everything off. Nice and easy, undo them, undo them, pull that off. And then actually, let's do that. Right, fast forward. Right, so there we are, I've taken the straps off. So now you've got just a carry handle. So let's say you just want to carry that round and spray your TFR on your vehicle to get it before you pressure wash it off or your foam or whatever you might be putting through it to be able to do it. You haven't got to have it as a backpack sprayer. And a lot of people don't realize that. You just use it as a carry around. I think that's great, really, really good. Um, other features, it has got a clip here to clip your hose in on the side. Nice and, you know, nice again, nice for transport purposes. And yeah, but I think it is now time to stop the waffle and go out and do some spraying. Luckily enough, I'm licensed to spray here in the United Kingdom, so that makes it easier for doing this video, without a doubt. Um, but we use a spray tank, water sprayer, and the chemical sprayer. Let's crack on, let's go and do that. Right, so we're all set up, all ready. Got my, you know, PP on, just for, just for the sake of filming, really, pretty much. Anyway, it's time now to go and fill our switch tank with organic, herbicide-free weed killer. Yeah, that's right. Just do that and then you can fill it up, look. There we go, fill it with a lovely bit of water. The nice thing about this tank, you're not going to get your straps wet when filling. That's normally when you get your straps wet. Obviously with a container full, clip it back into the base. Here we are only spot spraying today, so we're not spraying like a large area. So I've changed the nozzle to the flat fan. Obviously there's lots of other nozzles for different applications of spraying, deflector nozzles, cones, all sorts. But spot spraying today, but I do like a flat fan. It's my favorite nozzle for spraying. Cool, and we're on. That's all right. Nice weight, nice weight. About the same as what a normal knapsack sprayer would be with 15 litres of chemical in it. Uh, chemical, water. So the sprayer even comes with its own road mic mount, which is cool. Right, bit of spraying up through our demo garden on the path here. I deliberately left this for a long time for this video, so you know, don't be ashamed of my gut path. I am anyway, so tell me how bad it is by all means in the comments. That'd be great. Right, I haven't turned this, the dial up yet, whichever side that is. There it is. Cool, so I can, I can reach that from here. I can turn it on from here. And yeah, that's all quite handy. So we'll see how we get on to start with. There we go. I've got to say, I'm you know, used to doing that. I've got nothing for this hand to do now, so I can be on the phone at the same time. Hello, mate. How you doing? Control. Yes, we like it. Time to walk back over what I've already done. Sorry, Mr. Bluebell, you're not meant to be there. Sorry, Mr. Strawberries. Right, so that's one full tank we have used in the beautiful switch tank. We have used it on number one all the time, right? Okay, so it's been on, so you turn it on, got a green light there. I've used it on number one the whole time, so it's just been trickling along, which I really like actually, because the, I think the best thing about it, if you, you've got consistent spray all the time, whereas when you're pumping it, obviously your, your, your pressure goes up and down. So one minute it's really powerful, the next minute it's not. Obviously, once you get good at it, you can keep that fairly consistent, but it'll never be as accurate as this. Because once you've got it on one and you just hold that trigger, it's the same consistency all the time. Let's see how much battery it has used so far. And it has used 
sample out. We've used, oh, it's still saying it's full. I suppose if you're using it on full power, which we will in a minute, because we're going to put the water tank on it instead, then we'll see how much battery it uses after using the water tank. Right, let's switch tanks, huh? get it? Switch tanks to the water tank. Oh, right, water tank. I filled it like half full, because it comes with a little hose pipe squirtiness, which is great. But obviously, like I said before, you can clip this into a disc cutter. Obviously, the MX range if you've got it. And let's go. So it does come with quite a long bit of pipe. So depending on the application, you might want to cut it off a bit. If you're just using it for watering stuff and or rinsing stuff off, you probably don't need such a long pipe. But if you're using it on the disc cutter, you would want the long pipe. Or if you're using it for other applications, oh, here I am. And it's on number one at the moment, because that's what we were spraying with. And see what happens. Oh, look. We've got a dribble fest. Gently water some seeds or something. That'd be quite cool. Right, let's turn it up. Number two. Oh, feel it getting harder. Number three. All right, still nothing. Right, let's go to number four. Number five. Oh, jobby. Oh, that's flat out. Oh, that's right, isn't it? Look at that. Let's go in my homemade greenhouse. Perfect. The wife has already been in and watered these this morning already, so look at this. This is perfect. We have actually bought plants this year for the first time we've ever had, had to. See how far we can shoot it. Can I do it as I would with a hose pipe? Probably not quite on that furthest one. But it's not, this is not really what it's designed for, I don't think. Well, it's designed for anything you want to shoot water at, isn't it? Yay, we got them all. It keeps dribbling at me. We're just going to empty the tank now, or whatever's left. Well, I don't know, you can see what's left. I can't see what's left. What's about a third? Let's just turn it on and empty the tank. <laughs> I think we are empty. All right, empty, slosh, slosh, slosh. Right, let's take it right out, off my back. Hang on, it is. Well, come in, come in, come in. Still full, okay? So a four amp hour battery, I don't think they're wrong with saying that that lasts 80 minutes. What have I been? I was spraying for like 45 minutes on one, obviously, and I've been watering for like 10, five, five minutes watering. The Milwaukee Switch Tank, I'm impressed. I like it. It's got multi-function, which is always great for any tool. You can change the tanks between lots of chemicals. It gives you a consistent spray pattern. It's easy to use, it's nice to use, it's simple, it's not too complicated. It's a win. I like it. I really do like it. Am I going to use my manual knapsack sprayer in the future? Probably not. I'll probably just stick this on because I can have different tanks. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. We'd be very, very grateful. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one when hopefully we won't be doing so much dribbling. See you later.